So welcome back guys to another video and is it just me or does it seem like every piece of media that we consume today has to be a part of some mass extended universe? Well that had me thinking today I want to dive into the Konami verse with YY World 2. Released in January of 1991, YY World 2 is Konami's all-star cast of an action platformer featuring some of our favorite characters from some of our favorite Konami series like Castlevania, Contra, Gets Fumadin, and more. The plot and story to YY World 2 is an evil wizard named Ramuman emerged from the darkness and swiftly conquered the land. And in response, Dr. Cinnamon, who narrowly escaped, created a super robot named Rickle by using a secretly developed Konami Hero Transformation Circuit and sent him forth to defeat this evil wizard and save the herb princess who's currently in the Parsley Castle. In terms of gameplay, starting the game you choose from one of four character groups which consists of three different Konami characters. Most of the levels are spoofs of various different stages from Konami titles and the gameplay is mostly a straightforward platform game. But the player does start off with the main character, Rickle, and by collecting special power-ups, she can transform temporarily into one of those different characters. Now, of course, there is some variety. There are some shooting levels, some driving levels, even puzzle moments. And after certain levels, the players can choose different paths, which consist of different stages. Some of my favorite characters, like Garuman from the Mystical Ninja series, or Vic Viper, the ship from Gradius. There's even some shmup levels with Twin B, so... If you're a vertical or horizontal shmup fan, YY2 has you covered. I think maybe the only drawback to YY World 2 is it's a pretty simple game. It's not an incredibly long game either, but it's very relaxing. It's a good game to unwind and play and really celebrate the history of Konami with all of its Easter eggs and fan service. Now, YY World 2 was only released in Japan, but I was looking on eBay and it looks like the cartridges for now aren't too expensive, but there's also reproduction carts that you can get as well with English translations. And I'll let you guys know, if you don't know a lick of Japanese, you're all right. If you understand the, the general concept, like watching a video like this, you, you, you can go and play YY World 2 and have a great time. But anyway, have you guys played YY World 2? If you have, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts and opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, but also hit the bell so you're notified on all future videos and live streams on this channel. If you want to see more content about the Nintendo Famicom, be sure to give this video a like. That gives me kind of a, a idea of what kind of content you guys love. Anyway, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, happy gaming.